Today I thought I'd share with you how to make this mask. Some people refer to it as the octagon mask. It's my favorite mask because as you can tell, it doesn't suck in as I'm talking. And for those of us who wear glasses, it also cuts down on the fog or the glare that arises with your temperature change. This pattern was given to us by one of our customers who I saw wearing it at our sidewalk sale in Wheaton this summer. She was gracious enough to share it with me and so we will have this on our website. I believe it's already posted there. You'll receive the instructions and various sizes. There's a kids pattern, a small, medium, and large pattern for adults. I love this mask. It goes together quickly, easily. Okay, so all you're gonna do is take two pieces of fabric. I use white on the inside and my pattern is on the outside. So two pieces of fabric that your pattern will fit on. Pin your pattern on. Be careful if you are cutting several and your fabric is directional. Make sure that you flip it so that your words are going the correct way. Unlike when I did it the other night quickly, I have one that's upside down. So we're gonna take our pattern. You're just gonna cut it out on the lines. So now we have that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch all the way around and leave an opening at the bottom so that you can iron, clip, flip, and then we're gonna insert a nose piece or a wire in there. So I like to use my 57D foot. Just gives me a nice, easy quarter inch seam. Not a lot of thought involved here because it'll just follow along the guide. Right, so now that we have sewn a quarter inch all the way around our mask, we've left our opening down here. I like to clip my curves. What do I mean by clipping my curves? I mean, I'm going to make a small incision, a small clip, close, close to my stitching, but not through my stitching. And what this does is it enables my fabric when I go to iron it, it enables it just to lay a little bit flatter because let's face it, when you try to press a curve, it's not really a flat space. So by creating these little clips in here, it allows for a little bit better seam. I'm gonna do that on both these curves. And I know some of you may be saying, oh, that's not necessary. I don't know. It's the dressmaker in me. I also like to take off my corners or my points here. So all I'm gonna do is I just go around the whole mask and I clip those points. Now let's go to our iron and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So now we're at the ironing board. I like to press my seams open so that when I turn it right side out, it gives a nice crisp edge. I'm taking my strip stick for those of you who watched our 12 Days of Christmas, you'll know I promoted these for this exact purpose. You stick it in the middle here, press your seam apart with your finger at first, and then use your iron. Move your strip stick along. And you'll notice your seams will lay nice and flat. Now that we have our seams pressed nice and open, we're gonna take our mask and we're gonna turn it right side out. So just using that little space at the bottom that we left open, we're gonna turn this right side out. This is where I like to use my purple thing. Great little inexpensive tool. It allows you to get into all those little corners. 
press it all out. See how I'm just getting in there nice. Here's the curved part of my mask. So now that we've turned our mask right side out, we're just gonna take our iron and we're gonna give this a nice press. And now we're gonna go over to the machine and insert the wire and top stitch it. So now that we've ironed and turned our mask to be right sides out, what we wanna do is we wanna put a nice top stitch on there so that we have closed our bottom of our mask and we've inserted the wire. So what you're gonna do at this time is you're gonna take either the wire that looks like a twist tie or I have used um, floral wire and just cut it three inches long and inserted it into my mask as well. So you're just gonna put your wire into your opening at the bottom and now let's sew that closed. Again, I like using my 57D because instead of this time using my quarter inch, I'm gonna use the eighth inch, which is just a little bit inside And I'm just gonna sew this around, closing up that space because I've already inserted my wire. I know my wire's not positioned at this point, but at least it's in my mask and I can position it later. So now that I've top stitched an eighth of an inch around my mask. I've also inserted that wire and I've made a little casing for it here. Now I'm gonna go to the iron and I'm gonna fold this and iron it so that it's the right width. All right, so now that we've top stitched the outside of our mask and we've inserted the wire and sewed that casing in, we're just gonna make our two pleats, so to speak. So we're gonna fold this. I like to fold it just a little up from the edge of the corner. We're gonna iron it in place. Now, when we fold this other side, in theory, we want this for the women's small. We want this to be about two and three quarter inches across. This chart is also listed on our website. So you don't have to remember them because each size of the mask gets a little bit different of a measurement. Okay, we're gonna go back to the sewing machine. We're gonna edge stitch these edges and then finish it off by making the ends, putting our elastic in. So now that I have my mask folded and ironed, I'm gonna top stitch both of these edges. It's gonna create that pleat that will keep the mask away from your face when you're talking. So again, I just put it in here. I use my eighth of an inch line. Actually, I use more like a 16th. I use this very inner edge this time. Make sure you back stitch at the beginning and end as always. I know sometimes we're not used to doing that because we're quilters. So now that I've sewn both of my edges down, now comes the tricky part. It's really not tricky once you know how to do it. So let's help you with that. We wanna get our 3D portion of our mask, or I've heard on some sites they call it the origami mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the short corner and we're going to create this N which will bring it up. See how I'm not going straight down? I'm actually creating more of a 90 degree angle or what I like to refer to as this N 
in my stitching. So I'm gonna create that end. I'm gonna take a pin. I'm gonna pin it down here so it stays. I'm gonna pin it at the top of my end. And then I'm going to insert my elastic. Remember where we made that N and we pinned it? This time we're gonna tuck it in to the end right here. And this will all get sewn down. We don't need to tuck a ton in there. I usually tuck about a quarter of an inch, just enough so that it gets caught in there when I sew it down. Let's make an N on this side. So here's my point. I'm gonna bring it down, creating that 90 degree angle again. See how it makes this nice N? It also causes dimension in my face mask. Gonna pin it at the bottom so it holds. Pin it at the top. And now let's tuck in our face mask strap. And let's sew these in. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom here. I like to follow my top stitching lines that I just used. Back stitch again. Come up to the top of the end. You can either sew off the end or sew just one stitch in. Pivot and turn. Bring it down. And this time, this is where I'm trying to catch that elastic. So I like to make sure that when I back stitch, I'm going over that entire length of that elastic so I know it's caught in there. Voila. That one is done. See, it's nice and secure in there. It's not going anywhere. Let's do that again, just so you can see. Hold our threads, put this down. Backstitch. forward turn it back stitch come forward again so we're extra secure So I hope you enjoyed today's mask making video. As you can see, I got a little carried away and made several from our We Whisk You a Merry Christmas line. Um, just another piece of information, one of our customers who happens to be, be a physician commented that the octagon mask, which is what we made here today, provides the most protection of all the homemade masks. Thanks for watching. Look for us for our next video.